welcome back to the coding class c plus plus to be specific today what we are coming to learn i will need you to take your paper and your pen your your, your pencil rather and for you to jot down some key points before we we actually end the section So the last time I introduced you to the structure of C++ program, how C++ program are being written. As you all know how to write an HTML that is website design and how to design our website in basic or what entails in designing a website. We are, we've learned how to actually start coding our C++ program. And you can see from my screen here, you they have the hash include the IO stream, your using namespace std int main, then your curly bracket you return zero. Perfectly done. In fact, we went ahead. I took you guys ahead of writing some programs, some simple, simple programs to do calculations and so on and so forth today we are going to dive inside to understand some basic things of whatever you've done do you understand it so that it's not like you are going to copy codes you actually as a programmer can sit down and actually write your own software without any copying of codes seeking any help go through your code perfectly and execute or run or build a software that can actually solve a real world problem right now so far as as i know everyone here can be able to give us hello world can actually program hello world and actually run a program that says hello world Okay, we understand that the int main, this is where the main execution of your program starts. The last time I explained that to you, we know the C out to output whatever we want to tell our users. We know the return zero means to finish your code. And so your, your ID that's integrated development environment should start executing your code for you okay so this code we've all written sample codes and so i think this these parts are very cheap for you to write a code that says hello world or that says i'm a c plus plus program after this class i'll send you the reading material too okay now in c plus plus you can comment you can actually comment in your code like you do in html let me try and, and, and actually run my test editor please open your test editors okay open your test editors in c plus plus we actually comment so comment for you to comment as we do in the html for you to comment in c plus plus you use this that's a slash then a star then you write your comment inside and you come, you end it with a star, then a slash. This is how we comment. You can also comment a line. For you to comment just a line, you can use slash, slash, then 
you write whatever you want to write i believe you all know comment as in html comment means try to explain a certain portion of a code in c plus plus we comment you see c plus plus is more technical than html in c plus plus you do more logic so here you would have to comment so that someone someone takes your code you can he or she can understand what you are trying to say or what you are trying to do in your code right so here there's a sample code here you can actually do this and and run it so you see the person wanted to just print out hello world so the person types it then commented here so slash slash says print hello world print hello so it means here it's going to print hello world here too the person say okay print i'm a c plus plus program so he's trying to tell anyone who will take the code that this particular session is going to print um a c plus plus program so this is how comments are being done in c plus plus and try and comment your code in c plus plus is very complex so when a programmer takes your c plus plus you need to explain it to the person unlike html it can actually sometimes self-explanatory this one you, if you have no idea and you take it you can get confused so you have to add comments so that your program will be very nice and unique now today we will move on you we'll dive more into variables and data types variables and data types what are data types what are variables now you will see in our program in all our program we've written we used encapsulation meaning we define an object then after definition of an object we set an operator now we're calling the object the operator we define on this object they are called the data types and what we are actually representing they are called the variables so i'll say i'm using variable a true data type int as an integer you understand what i'm trying to say so i'm saying i want to take an output as i first introduced if you want to take an input and output something so i want to tell the person please enter a number one the person enters a number the program takes the number do the calculation and gives us the results okay now in our program the a we've defined is our variable and the data type is the operator we've actually defined on the a so in all our programs we've been writing we've been using int that's the integer so we say int a int b int c int d the int there is the data type what data type are we trying to collect from our users is it an integer or a character that's the operator we are defining on it okay any question okay let's move on you have to note something here in c plus plus there are something called identifiers please note it down identifiers it's a sequence of one or more letters digits or underscore characters identifies it's a sequence of one or more letters digits or underscore characters in c plus plus there is something you should know there is a rule what's the rule the rule here is it has some letters digits underscore letters which are actually only belongs to the c plus plus you don't use it in any way whereby you are not defining something i'll go over again in c plus plus we have rules 
and one of these rules is identifiers these are a sequence of one or more letters digits or underscore letters these are in the library of c plus plus and it can only be used as operators they are listed here we have a s m we have auto we have blue we have break we have case we have catch we have car we have class we have const we have const cast we have continue we have default we have delete we have do double dynamic cast else we all know else we use else in one of our program if else the else okay we have end we have explicit we have export we have extend false float for friend go to if the if we used if in our previous language if else if this if that then that in line int we've been using int integer we've already been introduced to int if and else we have long we have mutable we have namespace we all know namespace we have new operator private protected public register reinterpret that's cast and that's called cast we have return we have short signed size of static static cast struct switch template this true true try type dev type id name type name union unassigned using virtual void volatile we have w char underscore t then we have wow we have a lot okay these identifiers are very unique to c plus plus these are what's going to help you make logical decisions so you you realize the last time we made some we we built a certain logical software what which says if the person types one say i love you if the person types two say i hate you if the person type three say i don't know you we made logic using if then else if you realize so we said if a double equal to one see out i love you then we came and write else if a is equal to two see out i hit you else see out i don't know you so when your program takes in the number from the user it's going to compare the number with what it has then based on it it can make decision says oh the person input a input one as a and a here is defined in my logic as i love you or a he input two and two is defined in my logic as i hit you or if the person input any number that's not a one or two then i'm going to tell the person i don't know you this identifies helps you to make decisions logical decisions in your c plus plus program any question before we continue okay now we are coming to data types data types in fact when programming we store variables in our computer's memory let me give you the signs behind the int a int b int c int there's the signs behind it whenever you declare something called int a so let me show you sample okay they've not defined some here let me define some myself 
okay uh, i'm already even having a code yeah let me show you my e id now hope you are all seeing my screen okay you can see from my screen that when i was starting i defined int a now this is it this a is a variable and this int is a data type so this is my operator and this is my object now i ask the person please enter a random number the person enters the number how is our program able to know that the number the person enters is this or that or how is our program able to store that number this is the science when you define a variable as int a you've actually created a space a room on your memory you've created a room or a space on your memory and this space you've called it a now this a is where you are going to store whatever the, the person is going to type in so you will see here that i am asking the user please enter a random number then i'm storing i am saying console input here so you see input here is saying take whatever the person is going to type and store it in a the a i've provided that the space i've provided so my program is going to request the person to enter a random number then store it in the space called a on my computer's memory so the per the number the person enters it is being stored on the computer's memory as a because you've defined it I can decide to define that space as J. Then I'll tell the program to store it J here. J. Here I have created a space. I have created a space on my memory then i'm taking a number from my user and storing it in the space i've created as j that is the science behind this int j means i've created a memory space on my machine take a random number from the user and store that number in j now come here compare whatever you you've you, you've stored in that memory with 10 if it's equal to 10 tell the person i love you if it's not equal to 10 tell the person i'm neutral this is the science behind it any question please um, i want you to run us through one more time Okay. Okay. Now, this is it. The signs behind in int a or var a or car a boolean a. The signs behind you defining an object before you can start coding. In C plus plus, you create space in your computer's memory. Now, the space you are going to create, it's where any input that is being taken is going to be stored now in this particular program you are seeing on my screen i said i created a memory space so let me see i created one gig then i called the space j then i'm saying this space should only take numbers that's integers that's why i said integer j int j okay so i finished creating my my memory space then I came here and I said, see out, tell the person. So you see my program will pop up. 
please enter a random number. The person will enter a random number, then the program is going to take that number and store it in Jane. So the program is going to store that number in Jane here. So after this, Jane here in the program is the number the person have entered. Now my program is going to compare the Jane, then whatever number is in this Jane to 10. <laughs> um our our class will end any moment from now we we'll generate a new link then we join very quickly so that we can continue our class